The debt limit vote happening um, overnight last night in the Senate, right? So there is this narrative, right? Mitch McConnell for a long time was saying, Democrats got to go this alone. They're not going to do it. We all thought he was going to stick to his guns on that. Then the last minute, he changes course on this, makes a negotiation with the Democrats. They get this thing over the finish line um, in the Senate. You got former President Trump saying, do not vote for this thing. Mitch McConnell should have not done this, asking for all of supporters uh, to get behind him, for Republicans uh, not to vote for this thing. What was Mitch McConnell's motivation? Well, Senator McConnell made a bet months ago, Yasmin, that Democrats would ultimately fold and use that party line reconciliation process to, to raise the debt limit. Democrats refused. Chuck Schumer emphatically refused. And it turned out to be a stare down. And just less than two weeks before that deadline were to come up, McConnell ultimately blinked and decided, OK, he doesn't want an economic calamity out of this. He doesn't want the country to default and that he will provide 10 Republican votes for this short term solution. It's only two months. Now, one key consideration here for Mitch McConnell was the fear that Democrats would make changes to the filibuster. It would pierce the filibuster, at least create a carve out uh, for the purposes of lifting the debt ceiling. It came down to a situation where uh, the two holdout Democrats who support the filibuster, Senator Joe Manchin and Senator Kirsten Sinema, could have been put in a position of deciding in a binary fashion. It's either save the economy or save the filibuster. And McConnell decided, according to numerous Republican senators I spoke to, that he did not want to put them in that position. Now, of course, this is just a Band-Aid. This problem is going to have to be addressed again in December, although some think that that December 3rd deadline could slide a little bit. One uh, uh, the senator I talked to thinks it could slide even to January, but that'll be for the Treasury to decide. I think the fact that Donald Trump is out there, the leader of the party, pressuring McConnell, saying McConnell folded, uh, saying Republicans must vote against this deal, yeah. that was problematic. And that's why only 11 Republican senators at the end of the day uh, voted for it. Just one more than the bare minimum to make it pass.